if I'm not wrong guys, I believe that right there is Spiddock Mansion. Hey there everyone, we just made it here to Lower Maclay Park. If you check the sign, it says Forest Park and that Maclay is the entrance to the park. But if you check on Google, you will see that it says that this is uh, called Lower Maclay Park. This trail right here behind me is called the uh, Lower Maclay Trail. It takes you very close to Piddock Mansion. Uh, we're gonna follow it all the way until we possibly can. Uh, then we have to turn in order to get to Piddock Mansion. The trail starts right here under Balk Gulch Bridge. This is the visitor center this is where you can find a restroom and over there I've seen people go into that room but I'm not sure exactly what it is the goal is to get all the way to Pittock Mansion to get a cool view of the city skyline of Portland this is where our trail starts so let's go guys <laughs> Look at this guys, this looks like something from like Jurassic Park or something. This is just the beginning of the trail, there's a little bridge that you have to cross. But this spot right here, whoa, it's really nice. There's a river going through it. I don't know what the best times are to come here. It's around uh, 3, I think I mentioned that earlier, but uh, I don't see a lot of people. But I say this because of the weather, um, right now we're in this specific part of the year that where it starts raining a lot so right now we don't see the sun the sun is not out but um it's it's just cloudy so uh i don't know if it'll start raining later but uh, we decided to take advantage uh, today and come hike to Pittock mansion you'll come across a lot of places like this that allow you to get a closer look at the environment from this section you can see the little river that flows through here along the trail you can also see the trees, some of them have fallen over the river. When we came here to Portland, we knew that we were going to be hiking like three places. One of them being Piddock Mansion and uh, we were preparing ourselves. I bought these uh, hiking pants and my shoes and it's really funny that uh, a lot of people are here just like in normal clothes uh, walking their dogs. I'm sure they're not going to go all the way up but uh, it's just funny. Some of the paths are really narrow. So you have to be very careful. You could easily slip and fall down the river. And you'll see moss all over everything. Like look at this fence. It's like a hairy fence and the trees too. Look at this thing. Like this rock too is covered in moss. Look at that. We're right next to the little um, creek. And if you look closer you'll see some like little I don't know exactly what they are, but I, they look like tiny snails. Those things are little snails that uh, attach to the little rocks here in the creek. We want to see if we can find something bigger. Look at that, guys. I don't know if you can see. My girlfriend almost scared it off. She like looked at it and it got scared. But look at that. That's so cool. Whoa. This is like National Geographic, guys. I think my girlfriend said that it's an egret. No, it knows that we're following her. We're so close, oh my god. That is so amazing how you get to see these things up close just like this. It's just right there. That on itself was already worth the trip, I think. Anyways, let's keep walking, guys. This is our friend, guys. This is, I guess, like a mini picture of all the different like animals and plants that you find here. But there it is. So like I mentioned, the trail that we're going through is the Lower Maclay Trail. And the creek that is next to it is called Botch Creek. Fun fact for you guys, the person after who this creek is named after is uh, the one of the first settlers here in Oregon. And he is actually the first person who was executed on the account of murder. In the plaque that we saw at the beginning of the trail, we actually saw that uh, he murdered his own son-in-law. So he was sentenced to death 
and hung uh, here in the state of Oregon. In some parts of the path, there's some like trees that have fallen over. So you kind of have to like go around them. You just have to be careful. You don't like stab yourself with one of the branches. This is not that long of a hike, but I do recommend you guys to bring some sort of snack. We brought some nuts and we also have a fruit on deck in case we feel hungry. We are getting to the stone house, guys. It's right around this little corner right here. So we just made it here to the stone house. This place right here used to be like a place for hikers to rest in between their hikes. Um, a long time ago, it got destroyed by like some weather events. I don't know if it was like a storm or whatever. So today it has been abandoned and it's just here. And it's some place that uh, people can come and take a few pictures. It's really famous for that. Um, so it's called a stone house, but my girlfriend actually was telling me that it's also called the witch's castle <laughs> I guess some people think that it's haunted or something. They just want to add some lore to it You guys want to go inside? See what we can find? Whoa, it's so dark in here Boom. I think you can get on top of it Let me see if I can take a look up here. Here we are at the top of the stone house check it out you guys we are here at the top of the stone house let's take a quick look over this side and you can see that's where i was at the beginning and you can easily go down through the other side we're moving now we can't wait to pittock mansion just because we <laughs> need to get to a bathroom my girlfriend She's a little impatient, but it's because she needs to go. I see the bridge, you guys. That's where we turn, finally, making progress. She's happy, look at her. That's her happy walk. So we made a turn in Wildwood Trail and my girlfriend finally made it to the bathroom. Uh, this is not a Piddock Mansion yet. Uh, we need to cross the street and then uh, walk a little bit more and then we'll be there. So we're almost there. This is exciting for me. I've never been uh, in this area. So it's gonna be really cool to see uh, the skyline of the city. So we're still in Wildwood Trail and we have to go up that way, but you can see the road kind of goes like that we still need to go to the very top so that's gonna be intense we're almost there you guys oh my god i don't know if you can hear it in my voice but we are so freaking tired but we're almost there it's been such a fun time actually like we were able to see the the egret or something at the beginning and then the nature was beautiful we got to see the the stone house that was pretty cool too and we're finally here at the parking lot and so much closer to Piddock Mansion we made it to the Piddock trailhead as you can see in the picture this is the parking lot where people if you don't want to do the whole hike that we just did you can just park here and it'll be way closer to you if I'm not wrong guys I believe that right there is Piddock Mansion we made it to Piddock Mansion, you guys. High five. We did it. I was a little scared to BH because the mansion itself, it's already closed. So like going in, uh, I think it closes at four or five. It's already over that. And uh, I was like, hopefully we can go to the viewpoint at least. But I see a lot of people walking by, as you can see. This lady, she was behind us. And uh, I see that people are walking through here. So I'm sure that we'll be able to hit the spot 
and take some good pictures. So why is Pirog Mansion so iconic to the city of Portland, you might ask? Well, this is the house of uh, some of the earliest uh, settlers who arrived here in Oregon and made Portland what it is today. I was reading the plaque over there and it has some really cool facts about this place. So Henry Pirog and his wife Georgiana, I don't know if I'm pronouncing that correctly, um, they arrived here when Portland was just like a muddy city and there was nothing. And the family became one of the first peoples to start development, uh, create jobs in this area where in the future it would become the city of Portland. As you can see here it shows that Henry found work at the weekly Oregonian where he then became the owner and the publisher. His wife, picture right here, survived the Oregon Trail to then become the founder of many organizations and charities. And you can see a picture down here. It shows Portland as it was many, many years ago. This house is more than a hundred years old and it has seen the evolution of this city to what it is today. That is really crazy and very cool surrounding the mansion you can also find a lookout point uh, where you can get an amazing view of the city of portland uh, at least that's what i got from the pictures that i found on the internet and today we'll be able to verify that ourselves like i said the mansion itself is closed right now but we're gonna go around and see if we can find the lookout point look over there you guys i think i see where the viewpoint is <laughs> that's where everyone else is at this is so exciting guys like when i when we were planning to come here this is one of the things that i was like i haven't been to before and that i really really wanted to come and see so this is a lookout guys it's a bunch of people here and <laughs> there's also like little tables where you can have like your picnic or lunch but everyone is using them as benches as you can see i'm gonna look a little bit closer so I can show you guys but look at this beauty look at this view that over there is downtown Portland and from here we can see the stadium let me zoom in real quick I don't know if that's clear enough but that is the Portland Timbers Stadium that one right there that is the stadium of the Portland Trailblazer, so the basketball team. This one right here is the Wells Fargo building. And this little building right here is the convention center. I'm not an expert in the city, but here's a plaque that tells you what some of the things that you see in the skyline are, such as Providence Park, that is the one that I mentioned earlier. That is the Portland Timber Stadium. So that is all from me today, you guys. Hopefully you guys enjoy coming along with us. It was really fun to bring you guys with us. And uh, if you wanna see more videos like this one, I would recommend for you guys to click on the like button and also subscribe to my channel if you wanna see more videos like this one. Anyways, you guys, always remember to be kind, have an open mind. We'll see you next time.